The Sultan of Sokoto, Saad Abubakar III, has declared Friday, July 31st as Ida al-Kabir Salah Day and urged Muslims to observe prayers in mosques. He made a call in a statement signed by Professor Sambo Junaidu, Chairman Advisory Committee on Religious Affairs, a Sultanate Council, an issue to newsmen on Thursday in Sokoto. According to the statement, he advised them to go to their respective towns and villages and not at Eid grounds to help curb the spread of COVID-19 pandemic in the country. Joining us to talk more on this is Tajuddin Adibanjo, National Secretary, Muslim Media Practitioners of Nigeria. Thank you very much for joining us. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. What is your reaction to the new directive by the Sultan? Well, uh, I think uh, the Sultan needs to consult wide before giving us such directives. Because in some states, the, uh, the, they are still uh, banned on religious gathering. For instance, in Lagos, in the local state, they are, they are still banned on religious gathering. So there is no way people will gather for Eid al Fitri, Eid, 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 Eid uh, had her uh, salah in the mosque. So everybody will still have to pray at home individually. But in some part of the northern states, they have lifted the ban on uh, religious gathering, especially Juma service. So those areas where they are observing Juma service in the north, they can as well observe their heat in the mosque. But in southwest, especially Lagos, Ogun State, I'm sure of those two states, nobody will gather in the mosque to pray it prayer. They would rather pray it at home. And I also learned that uh, Kwara State on Thursday or Friday also issued a statement banning Edifitri, Adia prayer. In the in the in in, in 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 masjid, so basically, the directive of the sultan we apply to some states, and some states will not be they will, it won't apply to some states. I know Lagos and Ogun State for instance for sure, people will pray at home. Okay, I mean, does that work? I mean, you know, with regards the. Uh, public enlightenment that has to go around with regards COVID-19. Um, if some states will obey and then other states wouldn't, you know, uh, comply, how does that work? Well, I think the, the whole thing uh, is started with the federal government. Because at a point, federal government lifted the ban on religious uh, gathering, but allowed states to rule over it on their own name. Uh, in their own various states. So from there, we have the issue of some states saying that they can ban on a religious gathering, while others are saying that as far as they are concerned, they are not ready to leave ban on religious gathering because of the level of the uh, uh, pandemic. So what certain how to have done in the statement is to have followed those states that usually not issue a statement that those states that have not lifted oh. religious uh, ban they should maintain the directive of their state government. Why those that have lifted, uh, those who are living in the state that religious uh, gathering has been lifted, they should adhere to it. So, in, basically, you will see the situation come Friday. Some people will observe it in us, while others will observe it at home in some other, in some other states. So, okay. we can't have a general heat where everybody will pray in the mosque or everybody will pray at home come Friday. Okay, and, and, and what, what, what is your assessment on the level of compliance by Islamic followers? Are they also itching to resume congregational prayers or do they understand the reasons uh, behind these um, new directives? Well, to a large extent, the, the, the compliance has been uh, very, very impressive in the sense that many of them quite appreciate the fact that look, we can't go to mosque to pray, despite that it is compulsion in our religion to go to mosque and pray. But in Islam, Islam gives priority over on life, over other things. It is those who are alive that can go to mosque and pray. If you are not alive, you can't pray in the mosque. It is those who are healthy that can go to the mosque to pray. If you are not healthy, you can't go to the mosque to pray. So many people believe, uh, understood this. And they decided to follow the government and the Council of Full Amount uh, directive that everybody should stay at home. I'm the secretary, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, as I've been the National Secretary of Muslim Media Pressure, I'm a community leader in my area. And about, we have about three central mosques here. 
and none of those mosques has been open since it was shut down. So everybody believed that we need to comply our safety first before we say we want to worship Allah, because Allah has also warns us that we should not do things that we affect our lives. So to a large extent, people comply with that directive. So and they are praying and hoping that this pandemic is over so that they can go back to their normal way of life.